hello and welcome to the best obscure youtubers of 2024 since the channel has been doing exceptionally well lately it's time to talk about some lesser known youtubers that have really impressed me over this year if you're curious as to what kinds of youtubers they'll be of course there will be some video essays but also some channels related to music games and some cool art projects that i've known about for a while here's a little bit of a sneak peek as to who we're talking about today so if you see your name oh get excited it's gonna get good sly is a music review channel that i greatly appreciate not just because we've been friends for a while but due to his live editing during his recordings he really stands out in the review space as a personality but in the technical aspects as well if you want to vibe to some music with an eccentric individual, I definitely check out his work. Nick with no K is the kind of person where you can tell he is passionate about anime, to the point where just listening to him talk, it's very clear that he has a natural stage presence in terms of presentation and overall mic quality. I'm not even the biggest fan of anime, but seeing him talk about very specific topics regarding the subject in a video essay style really hooked me with his content. Even if you're not a fan of anime, I would suggest you give him a try, especially because I truly believe that he is a current rising voice in the anime YouTuber space. D to J kind of blew up out of nowhere, I'll be honest. While being easily related to Tyler the Creator in terms of vibes, the combination of hyperpop, singing, trap, and samples, it's an interesting mix that makes my brain happy when I listen to Janice. And then there's Abyss, which you can tell this is the beginning of one of the next biggest artists. So to be at the start of this journey is so cool to see. On top of this, his music videos have some narrative themes and secret codes to the point where I'm starting to question if this is some type of ARG or something similar. Jay the Dev Guy hooked me with this video that I kept getting in my recommended, Loneliness Kills Art, and convinced me why you should post your bad art amongst other topics of discussion. The story he tells of his life as an artist was one I related to on some level, and I love his presentation style of drawing everything. CJ Santa is a video essayist who talks about Call of Duty, but specifically Call of Duty Zombies. If you know me, you know I have an affinity for zombies, especially ones in the genre. The way in which he makes videos really makes you think differently about video games, especially COD Zombies. Joni makes deep dives about games. I would say video games, although a deep dive about Seen It was my first exposure to this content creator, even though Seen It is technically a video game. Regardless, you can tell with this video, and then more recently a video about virtual arcades, which is also a really good watch, we are in a new era of Joni. So now is the perfect time to watch this channel. Doodly is a video essay who animates a character talking about different aspects of animation. I've always loved animation, so this channel always makes me happy. Plus, it is very educational in terms of the technical side of animation, such as what things are actually called. Made the Potato I found from Jax Films, and although I tried to find people who aren't being shouted out for the most part, I've been watching this guy for a year, and let me tell you, I love this guy's vibes. He reviews games from start to finish and adds little jokes here and there to keep the videos engaging and entertaining. Reminds me of an older version of YouTube, which is a nice treat every once in a while. Tasteful Thickness is a self-proclaimed writer, actor, and animator who hooked me with his microplastics video. I immediately subscribed after this one. He also makes comedic parodies and has some other original videos as well. Blangela I started watching half a year ago. She makes comedic videos about older games most of the time, and since I love the more retro style of gaming, I am always excited to watch a new video from her. It's very much in the style of a your friend sharing about their favorite niche on popular video game in their bedroom kind of vibe. Quilta is one of those channels on the outside. And by that, I mean he actually goes outside, unlike me, obviously. His content is such a breath of fresh air as he talks about topics like how to go on adventures for cheap to encourage others to try it for themselves. If you like outdoor channels, definitely check this one out. Govin claims himself to be an aspiring cinematic philosopher, and his videos match that same energy. To me, these are video essays about living as a young man in the digital age and how he survives as a creative person very insightful watches. Level 1 Rock is that one video essay channel that keeps getting recommended to you because they keep making videos that for some reason get hundreds of thousands of views. That is because Level 1 Rock knows how to talk about pop culture at the right time, and it definitely shows. If you love media analysis videos about TV shows and music, 
this is the channel for you. Tucker Keen is a member of the Chuckle Sandwich podcast. He started his own channel with so far two videos in his newer era. Ranking condiments proves that you can put Chick-fil-A sauce on basically anything and it will taste good, but his second video felt a lot more personal regarding his experiences and feelings about the GameCube. One of the metas of this channel is whenever my friend Mateo starts a new channel, I always shout it out. Not just because he is one of my best friends, but that I truly consider him an artist, especially now with his new channel, Skull Mug. On this surreal channel, you will find skull bumps, which are bumper styled videos, some one off nostalgia bumps, and also a short film that may or may not include voice work of a certain someone you know of. If you like animation, especially surreal animation, it is definitely worth checking out. Dollywood One finally released an album, and it is so good. Trying to explain Dollywood One to a sane person seems like an impossibility, but what I will say is that if hyperpop, trap, noise, and synths over an extremely digitized filter sounds appealing, Check it out. Legendary, please make more videos. Please. This guy made a video about Anyland. Nay, the video about Anyland. For 20 minutes, he details the slow, gradual decay of what was a social style VR game, and that story was truly captivating to me. Mia Cole is what would happen if your brain was stuck on overthinking mode about our digital culture for an hour and then made into a video essay. The videos never shy away from the real problems that come with constantly being online, and it really makes you take a look at how you yourself are spending your own time online. If you like hour-long video essays like myself, I highly recommend it. New makes beautiful art. Words cannot describe how good this looks to me. The only way to truly appreciate it is to see it for yourself. Shadow Streak is the kind of channel to make a five and a half hour video on every Powerpuff Girl episode and a seven and a half hour video on every Sonic game, and yet still calls it a part one. The attention to detail and research is so incredibly astounding and is worth the wait every time he uploads. These videos are a masterclass in how you should do deep dives. So I didn't really write a conclusion for this video because I wanted to do like a heartfelt kind of thing to say thank you for all your hard work. I know as a YouTuber myself it can seem very lonely, it can seem very isolating, and it can seem very much like I'm just sitting in my room talking to nobody and I'm literally doing that right now. But all these people keep doing that and they keep making their own projects and I think that's really cool to see. And all these people are very much an inspiration to me and I definitely look up to them in some way, shape, or form. If any of these people have interested you slightly, I severely recommend you checking them out. I'm honestly thankful for each and every one of them and it's really cool to see these up-and-coming YouTubers just doing their thing and I think that's really cool.